Once you choose a business model, you'll want to narrow down what niche or industry you want to serve. A niche is a distinct segment within a market. Some examples of niches are Uncle Goose, who make wooden toys for young children, and all their toys are made in the U.S. Colorado Glasses makes eco-friendly wooden sunglasses, and they have the cool Colorado flag on the side. And Button Chime, who make light card games that you can fit in your pocket and bring with you anywhere. The key when it comes to finding a niche is keeping it small. In fact, some people encourage you to use the term micro-niche to reinforce just how small you should look. You don't want to offer all sorts of toys. You want to offer wooden toys made in the U.S. That's a much smaller niche. When you have a small niche, you get a lot of benefits. You probably want to serve a niche that doesn't have a lot of competition. I love escape rooms, but Colorado, where I live, has the highest number of escape rooms per capita in the entire U.S. My market is saturated, so it'd be really hard to earn a living. When you have a niche that's small and doesn't have a lot of competition, you get some big benefits. First is that you don't have to spend as much money or any money on advertising. If you're a store that sells everything, you have to run big, expensive campaigns that everyone will see. If you're a store that sells environmentally friendly wooden sunglasses for people who love Colorado, you can advertise in the local paper, show up at local events, and use hyper-targeted ads, which are much cheaper. If you offer a product no one's seen before, you might not have to advertise at all. Just let people know it exists, and the message can spread all on its own. Second, you can stand out in your category. If a friend of mine asks, what's a game I can take with me on a road trip, I'd have no problem recommending something from the game company Button Chai. They specialize in games that can be played in small spaces. When you're the go-to solution for a particular problem, it makes you really easy to recommend, and customers don't need as much convincing. It's pretty common for new store owners to want to go as broad as possible. They want to get as many customers as soon as possible. And I get this desire. I want to create a company that offers a product for every single person, so I can have 7 billion customers. But very quickly, it can turn into a mess of products. And I have no idea why I'm in your store instead of on Amazon, which already offers every product, and it's probably nicer than your store. Remember, you want to find a small niche that's not too competitive. If you can properly serve that niche and offer products that are just right for them, you'll have a pretty good chance at running your own e-commerce business.